person uh, came to, you know, that was a murderer or criminal of some kind, and they, and they wanted some kind of help. I mean, would you have to turn him in? Well, if he came to me for spiritual advice, I'd say no. You wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. But I would try to convince him to turn himself in. Uh-huh. And, uh, how do you go about getting an exorcism? Beg your pardon? If, uh, if a person, you know, possessed by a demon or something, how do they, how do they get an exorcism? Well, the first thing, I'd have to get him into a time machine and get him back to the 16th century. I didn't get you. Well, it just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McNeil. Oh, yes, that's when. Well, since we learned about mental illness, paranoia, schizophrenia, all those things they taught me in Harvard, Miss McNeil, since the day I joined the Jesuits, I've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism, not one. Yeah, well... <clears throat> Somebody very close to me is, is probably possessed. And needs an exorcist. Father Karras is a little girl. I'd like to help you. You want to loosen the straps, huh? I'm afraid you might hurt yourself, Reagan. I'm not Reagan. I see. Well, then, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Damien Karras. And I'm the devil. Now kindly undo these straps. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? That's much too vulgar display of power, Karras. Where's Reagan? In here, with us. Show me Reagan and I'll loosen one of the straps. And you're helping all all the boys, Father. Hey, Mother's in here with his Karras. Would you like to leave a message? I see that she gets it. That's true. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? What is it? <laughs> See the cross of the Lord. God, you are still power. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. Oh, I come to thee. The Lord be with you. And also with you.